Hey guys, this is Rashmi from ASIM Student Chapter IIT ISM, and today I will be solving question number A of Educational Code Forces Round 90. The question says that there are two rival donut shops. The first shop sells donuts at retail, where cost of one donut is A dollars, and the second shop sells only in bulk, where the cost of a box of P donuts is C dollars. So if you want to buy X donuts from the shop, you have to buy the smallest number of boxes such that the total number of donuts in them is greater or equal to X. So and we need to find two positive integer values which will be the output of our program. The first one of them is how many donuts can you buy so that they are strictly cheaper in the first shop than in the second shop and in the second part how many donuts can you buy that so that they are strictly cheaper in the second shop than in the first shop. If any of these two values does not exist, we need to print minus one. And if there are multiple possible answers, we can print any one of them. So in each input, a variable t is given, which is the number of test cases. For each test case, a, b, c is given. We need to determine those two positive integers for each one of them. So let's see how we can do this. Now. Here I have taken Q as input and ABC as an input. Now let, let's think of a case when buying donuts from shop number 1 is profitable. So if I buy X is equal to 1 donut. So in shop number 1 it will cost me A dollars. But in shop number 2 it will cost me C dollars. Because even if I buy 1 donut I will have to buy 1 full box of donuts consisting of B donuts. So and the cost of P donuts, that is one box of donuts from shop 2 is C. So that so the cost of one donut in shop number 2 will be C. So in a case when A is less than C, then buying one donut in shop number 1 is more profitable. Hence I am printing 1 in this case. But if that is not the case, like when A is greater or equal to C, then always even if you you want to buy one donuts or any number of donuts buying it from second shop will be more profitable so in no case buying any number of donuts from the first shop will be more profitable hence we will be printing minus one in this case now let, let's think when buying from shop number two proves to be more profitable so when a into b is greater than c so this is this is actually a case when we want to buy b donuts from uh, from the shops so when I buy B donuts from shop number one then the cost will be A into B but buying B donuts from shop number two will be C because as given in the question so a case when A into B is greater than C then I will obviously prefer buying it from the second shop where I'm getting B number of donuts in a lesser price hence I'm printing here B because when I buy B donuts from second shop when A into B is greater than C then it is more profitable but when a into b is less than or equal to c then buying it in the second shop will never be more profitable because if buying single donuts in first shop is has a lesser price than buying bulk donuts in a second shop then why will be i buying it in bulk i will always try to buy single donuts because a into b is however less than equal to c so I will be printing minus one in that case. I hope this was clear and uh, I have already submitted this question. So here you can see it is accepted. So this uh, approach is correct. If you found this logic and this approach useful, please hit the like button and subscribe to our ACMS channel for further